Yeah, what's going on everybody? It's your boy iPod King Carter here. Welcome back to another video. So today's video is going to be about badge progression, cat breaker progression, endorsements, the whole nine, man. So just to start things out, your boy got two endorsements from his new manager. You know, my manager was kind of suited and booted, I can't lie. But my two endorsements are pretty small endorsements. Not nothing too crazy. You guys will see those checks in a moment. But just to let you guys know, I got 41,000 fans if you guys can't see it right there. My marketability isn't that high yet, but marketability will grow as you progress in the league. Now, you don't have to play many games. From what I've seen, my marketability is about a B. And by, I think, my fourth game, it was at an A+. So marketability is really not hard at all. You guys can see here, I haven't played my first NBA game yet within this recording. But I've already played five games and I'm an 85 overall moving on up to a 87. Yes, that's right. 87 overall coming out of the prelude and spending VC to max my player out at 85. So if you play the prelude with the actual prelude or the full games prelude, you will come out at 87 overall if you're that good. I'm not sure if everybody will be able to get that many uh, my was it my points or something like that i'm not sure but me i got it now as far as badges go coming out of the prelude i don't really have any badges done yet now i didn't badge grind during the prelude because if anybody knows if you played the prelude on the full game you were playing on hall of fame so wasn't nobody trying to focus on badges i was trying to focus on getting out there live man i'm just saying one of the hardest like hardest things was playing that prelude on hall of fame man all of, oh my god it was insane but the badges look pretty good now coming out of that i'm going to show you guys that immediately as soon as you get done with the endorsements your manager does hit you up your manager hits you up and says hey man come pick up that money you know what i'm saying your money is here we, we would like it if you would stop by because we don't want to hold on to your money for too long. So, you know, I just had a little small conversation with him about, you know, how things go. And of course, it, this is nothing but another tutorial from 2K letting you know where his offices are, what's the uh, arrangement that you guys have on how to pick things up. And, and honestly, it's just a different color, but it looks exactly like last year's VC Sports Management. Now, um, another thing about badges, you guys will see me earn badges in this video. Um, one badge in uh, specific uh, is going to be difficult shots. So if anybody out there is trying to grind difficult shots and you want to know how to get it fast, this video probably will help you. Um, I'm not saying that this is a, a quick way to do it and you know you can only do it this way. No, I'm saying that if you're a person that's working on your badges, this may help you. Now, we're going to go ahead and go pick up the check. Uh, there's going to be a little cut scene or whatever somebody's going to be talking, but for the most part, I'll be right back, man. So I'm just walking in, walking through the door real quick, and here we go. Oh. Hi, I'm Veronica, Nikhil's partner. Check for you. Great. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. And just like that, I'm back. And also, to remember his name is so hard. I don't know why they named this guy that Nikhil. Nobody wants to remember saying Nikhil. In their videos talking about VC and checks. Hey, hey, uh, Nikhil gave me a, a, a banging check, man. I, I couldn't even cash it. It was so hot. No, nobody wouldn't do that. But I'm on my way to the facility, man. Now that we're in the facility, it's time to work on this difficult shots badge. Now, drills this year, they are specific to whatever badge you're working on. So the workouts are actually simulated by one. So don't think you can go in and work on a badge and get other progression for other badges. It doesn't work that way. Now, badge grinding is easier this year, which means it doesn't take that many points. But since you're actually focused on one badge itself during your workouts, it may be a little bit harder for other people because you know you used to be able to get difficult shots, mid range, that a whole bunch of badges worked out in one type of session. So you know it is what it is. Now this right here is the moving shot one, and then like after you do a moving shot, you got to do a standing three. So you know I, I was scared, man. My first one, I think I got two stars, but on this workout, I got three stars. You guys will see how many points it gives you for three stars in this difficult shots one. Now. 
a lot of people will probably say, hey, like, why don't you, you know, show us other badges and stuff like that? I can tell you guys right now, I have so many badges to work on because of this build. I feel like this is one of the most slept on uh, builds out there. And I'll probably make a video on it once I hit like 90 overall and talk more about it. But, you know, uh, Slashing Shot Creator is very slept on, man. People think I can't shoot. You know, they leave me open and stuff like that. And I be knocking down some shots. So, you know, I can't be mad at that. Now, also, another thing. Everybody knows that right now, Shot Creators are very, very, like, big right now in the community like everybody's talking about their shot creators and just to let you know i have shot creating in my build so if you think a pure shot creator is cheese or a shot creating playmaker or a shot creating sharpshooter whatever the case may be don't forget shot creating slashers are crazy too just pointing that out now you guys notice that i am close to the bad so i'm definitely going to do this one more time i got 700 my points earned for that drill now if you do that a bunch of times you can easily get these badges man so i advise anybody who's doing my career grinding for their badges definitely after each game make sure you come to the facility and grind for your badges as well man now only got two stars on this one as you guys can see it says badge of honor trophy has been earned that means that i got my first badge done and that badge is difficult shots now it doesn't max out at bronze which means we're going to keep going man so you know i'm I, I like it man i'm not gonna lie i like the badge grinding i like how you focus on what badges you need instead of you know trying to figure out what works because you know those videos that come out and everybody want to figure out how to get the badges the easiest man i'm good with just you know something simple now this right here i'm 88 overall this is after five games in the nba as well as about 20 part games guys that's right i got badges i got badges maxed out i got badges that i need i got defensive stopper i got pick dodger got a post spin technician relentless finisher free throw ace ankle breaker one man fast break poster riser and so many more badges on the way, guys. You have to take a look at my badges and then say to yourself, is this build really that cheese? I can't I can't speak no more on it, man. If you guys want to check out my creation video, definitely do that, man. My creation video is inside the description. Check it out ASAP. I'm telling y'all, I can't I can't make this up, man. Crazy. All right, guys, this is the end of the video. I hope you guys definitely enjoy this video. Make sure you guys hit that subscribe button and you can also watch one of my previous videos after hitting that subscribe button. I hope you guys like this video. Let's get this thing to 5,000 likes. And this is your boy IKC signing out. Peace.